Buddy! <clears throat> it's your guy, Derek420, Colorado, coming at you live and direct from Louis Armstrong International Airport here in the lovely New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm here in the meditation room, which I thought was really cool that they provided this nice little spot here for me. Um, unfortunately, we're, we're not coming to you today with a University of Texas Longhorns win. Boo. What's up, Dirk? Uh, yeah, we're not coming at you with a live and direct win from the Longhorns, unfortunately. It's okay, though. Uh, you know, we, uh, we had just an incredible time at the game, had fr front row, first row tickets, seats. It was, it was awesome, man. It was, it was super rad. Uh, so it was a hell of an experience. Uh, really, really got a, uh, just an amazing experience there at the Superdome. Again, got to be first row right there, dang near on the field. I'll post some pictures here for y'all in a little bit. <clears throat> um, but I just wanted to kind of check in and, uh, say what's up to everybody. Uh, like I said, we're coming at you live and direct from the meditation room, also known as the chapel, here at the Louis Armstrong International Airport here in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's pretty cool. I actually really like this airport. This airport's pretty rad. Um, so, um, I just, uh, like I said, I just want to check in with everybody. I didn't want to miss a Tuesday if I didn't have to. Next week's Talk About It Tuesday will be coming to you live and direct from Rincon, Puerto Rico. We're going on a surf trip. Had this plan for about four or five months. Can't wait to get out there, get out there, surf with some buddies. Um, yeah, yeah, I might cry on the way home. You're right. It's been, it's, it's been kind of, sh kind of shitty, but it's okay. There's always next year, uh, you know, for those that follow along with college football, Texas wasn't really supposed to be, you know, this good as they were this year, and we uh, exceeded expectations. And so to be one of the finalists in the college football playoff, we were super happy and we are really primed for next year. So it was, uh, it was super rad. Um, let's see here. Uh, what are we going to talk? What did I say? Shit. There was something that somebody said something that I should talk about. And I said, sure, I'll talk a little bit about that. Hmm. Now the hell what DLI. That's right. DLI. Uh, that, uh, talk a little bit about DLI. Uh, <laughs> Steve, it's funny you should say that. You know, your boy doesn't go pretty much anywhere not prepared to do a dab. Well, but the airport in a non-legal state is one of those places. But, just for everybody here, you know I'm not going to leave you completely stranded. Y'all get to see me take my weed pill. <laughs> So, instead of doing a big fat dab, we'll go on ahead and uh, uh, get your edibles ready, get your pills loaded, let's all eat some pot. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure everybody wants me to do a dab. Unfortunately, I, uh, I, I don't think the TSA and the federal agents that are here, what's up, Corey, would let me do a dab. But if I, if I could, I would, for sure. Uh, but yeah, you know, I figured I'd uh, pop my little uh, pre-plane, pre-flight weed pill with y'all. Hell yeah, JP, do one for me. Steve, get Ralph to do a dab for me since I can't do one. Load it up, get it ready, get it hot. Do a dab for your guy that cannot. Hee <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, TSA will smoke one with me, yeah, as they're, uh, 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 putting some nice shiny bracelets on me. Um, I mean, you know, here's the thing, Al, Al Bonds, my boy, my homie, what up? You know, if I'd actually known that there was this, you know, super cool little private, you know, private room here, <laughs> I probably, <laughs> I might have, I may have, I might have done one. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see that room, and Steve, yes, I know you have experienced it, and I don't wish that on anybody. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's definitely the, uh, if I had known this little super cool little holy room where I could just peacefully practice my religion uh, was here, I might have uh, done a little dabble ruski, but maybe next time, maybe next year, uh, if we go back to New Orleans. Actually, what the hell is it? Rose Bowl next year? This, this, I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about DLI. My plane's going to board here in about 20 minutes. So, uh, just going to talk to you folks. 
Ooh. So I just talk to you folks and uh, say hi, check in. And there you go, Anthony. That's not an announcement for me. I don't care. It's weird. Yeah, almost everywhere in an airport, you have like that the PA announcement, the system it'll play like in the bathrooms and everything, you know, because they need to be able to alert folks. It doesn't play in here. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, that's, that's what we're doing. We're uh, headed back to the farm. We're headed back to the farm. We're going to stop off at uh, Monarch uh, Resort, Monarch Casino there in uh, Idaho Springs there in Colorado outside of Denver. Well, uh, we're going to go there, and then we're going to go boarding, snowboarding tomorrow with a good, big group of friends. So that's going to be super rad. Uh, oh, yeah, DLI. <sighs> DLI. Okay, so DLI is super, super, uh, super... A super cool metric and quantitative way to actually um, assess your light. What is P, uh, PPFD? What is PAR? What is DLI? PAR is photo photo photoactivity radiation. Oh, shit. PPFD is photo. I can't remember. Uh, but DLI stands for daily light integral. Now, what that basically means is a it's how much the plant. Uh, can use, how much light the plant can actually use over the course of a day. All right, and so the way that you actually calculate that, there's a lot of them out there. You could, If you can find your PPFD or your PAR, then you're able to put it in a calculator and you can times it, uh, times the amount of hours in the day that are at that PAR or PPFD. Um, for basically everybody, okay, Ev almost everybody out there. Running in full on flower, you're never you're never gonna see your DLI be more than 50. Okay, I personally run my DLI about 55 to 57, but that's because I use CO2 supplementation, and the plants can actually use more light. So uh, when they're when their CO2 is supplemented, so uh, you so you never want to go probably around 45, 50 at the max. Okay, and that's gonna be in full flower when your plants are. Uh, there you go, photosynthetic photon flux, flux density. There you go. That's what that's. I, I knew it was rattling around in there, but uh, a little bit hungover this morning, as you folks can imagine. I enjoyed some libations last night um, to cure my sovereign sorrows from the loss of the Longhorns. Brr. Hey, I got to give credit to the University of Washington, man. Those dudes played their asses off, and I mean that dude Penix is a real deal. He slung it all the all over the field. I mean, I watched it. In, feet away from me, literally 20 feet away from me, just throwing dimes. So shout out to the University of Washington Huskies. They deserve to win. I hope they beat the crap out of Michigan. And uh, that ought to be a real good one. So um, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty rough. The end of it, the end was kind of, kind of crappy, but I, overall, man, it was a great game. Yeah, both, both games, both, both college football uh, semifinalists, semifinal games were freaking just amazing games. They were, if you're a fan of football, then you should have definitely enjoyed watching those two games, as was I. Um, so, your DLI, so that's okay, I know you never want to go over like 45 or 50. And um, at the beginning, that's really when it's the most important for people who are trying to figure out DLI, that uh, given your plants, yeah, you're damn right, it's 5 o'clock on the dot, and OU still sucks. Uh, the, um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. So whenever you've got seedlings, seedlings into seedlings is going to be anything from the, when it first pops up to about the first seven to ten days, twenty to twenty-five at the max. Okay, you can get away with fifteen to twenty. What you're doing at the first part of your seedling stage is you're actually more concentrated and you're trying to get your plants to develop roots versus foliage. You're trying to get an extensive and expansive rhizosphere and an expansive root network built up so that your plants can actually uptake the nutrients that they need and uh, have cellular division occur at a rapid pace, i.e. getting more foliage. Uh, so, yeah, oh, oh yeah, we got a bunch of Michigan folks in here, that's right. Uh, Lex, I see who is that, uh, Sarah, Sarah and Lex, y'all are both up there. Chad from the, from the mitten, from the glove, the youpers up there. Uh, the, I, man, that's gonna be a real good one, but I just, I mean, after seeing Washington, in the flesh and seeing them, and I mean, my horns are a tough team. I mean, they, they, that, that offensive line they got at Washington is the real deal. They were able to basically neutralize the Outland Trophy winner in Tavondre Sweat and Byron Murphy, who was just a beast. 
So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good game, but uh, I really see Washington has probably got the keys to be able to to to, to get it done. Uh, so um, that's uh, that's what we got going over here, going on over here, out here in New Orleans. We're gonna head back to Colorado. We're gonna get back to the farm. We're gonna go. Like I said, I will be in Puerto Rico next week. We leave on Monday, and. I'm uh, going to be there for a week, so I will be coming to y'all live and direct from the beautiful island of Puerto Rico in Rincon, which is on the northwest side of the island. We like to surf, and it's the surf capital of the Caribbean. So that's what we're going to do it. And then, when I get back, boy, I'll tell you what, we're going ham. We're going ham. And uh, going to get all kinds of super cool stuff going. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fan interaction customer interaction into what you guys want to see me breed and move forward with this uh, 2024 growing season and it's just going to be super rad so super uh, super glad to see everybody ultra glad that y'all stopped by and sorry that i'm not coming to you with a longhorns victory but that's okay we'll get them next year and uh yeah so there we go we are um we're gonna go hop on this plane we're gonna get back to Colorado, gonna do a little snowboarding, and then we'll be back in touch. We'll be back with you guys. Be on the lookout for a drop between now and Tuesday, okay? Y'all be on the lookout for a drop between now and Tuesday. There will be a drop between now and Tuesday. Probably not gonna be on Tuesday because I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico, so I'll figure out how to do that. We'll uh, make an announcement, make a tag, and I'll probably come live and uh, do a little bit of description and talk about it and set it live. So, awesome. We will see you fine folks later on in the week. Later, everybody. Bye.